Welcome back. A church in Crawford County started 162 years ago. Cool Spring Baptist began in 1860. Today, they're about to have a celebration centered around the latest sanctuary on the property. Suzanne Lawler explains as she brings you the latest installment of Sacred Spaces. E.L. Dukes with the owner of the land and, and at that time you got to know it's probably a plantation because houses used to be all up that hill. And Tina Jackson was the latest name that actually originated, started the church and uh, after doing meeting up on the bush arbor they uh, branched out from that. Today the property across from Cool Spring Baptist Church where Tina Jackson invited other people to worship with her is residential. The original tree is gone and power lines cross the woods. Cool Spring doesn't have any pictures of Jackson, but her stories have been told through the generations. There were very few churches, a black church was in the area at that time. George Walker is a deacon in the church. We all grew up here together. We all got spanking here together. <laughs> <laughs> Walker says kids used to walk or ride their bikes down a dirt road to get to Sunday school at Cool Spring. Lawrence Lucas remembers those times. He's Walker's cousin. And like I said, remember the fans in the windows and uh, had a pot bed of heater in the front of the church. And They're talking about this sanctuary, an older building that was torn down in the early 90s in favor of this. On the first Sunday uh, in November, we will be burning the mortgage here at 11 o'clock. They'll say goodbye to a $450,000 debt. That's a big deal for a small country church that took a hit during COVID. The congregation still does social distancing out of concern. Uh, we as deacons and here at the church did a lot of the inside work ourselves. And they're not done. Walker and Lucas are helping to bring back the old baptismal pool that sits down a short wooded path about a thousand yards from the church. Cool Spring is named after the water that flows through the pipes. Both men were baptized in the concrete structure. I remember, I was about 10 years old, I remember it was cold. Tina Jackson would no doubt be proud of the way her humble congregation grew and worked together to form a house of worship well positioned for the future. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Suzanne tells us Cool Spring Baptist is looking for its 12th pastor since the church started. Their last one left in the middle of the pandemic. If you missed our Sacred Spaces series, you can watch it right now on 13 WMAC+. Join Suzanne in her travels across our area, uncovering the history and faith of places of worship in Central Georgia. Download the 13 WMAC Plus app on your Roku and Amazon devices and start watching on demand when it's convenient for you.